What is a good starting salary as a junior cybersecurity analyst fresh out of college in Atlanta, Georgia? All right, my man Dan Bernard here. He says, I took a CNT, C, what does that stand for? He says, I took a CNT nine month course at FCC College and graduated 93.7%, but I'm unsure which role I should go into because it's been about six years since graduation and haven't done any work in IT yet. Hold on, let me read this again. I need y'all to take an English class and learn how to put periods and commas up in here. He says, I took a CNT nine-month course at FCC college and graduated 93.7%, but I'm unsure which role I should get, I should go into because it's been about six years since graduation and haven't done any work in IT yet. Though now I'm back motivated to get back started in studying for certs and get an entry-level job to start up my IT career. It says, can you help any? Yeah, like I say, we're going to have to start helping you with commas and periods and all that stuff. Anyways, he says, and should I take IT fundamentals or should I just jump into A+, plus, being that I already had schooling and computer network technology? Here's the thing, man. Go ahead and get your A plus certification. You already have background knowledge in tech. Remember, IT fundamentals is really a certification that is for people who know absolutely nothing about tech and they want to get an introduction to the wonderful world of IT. A plus is a cert that focuses on teaching you about the computer, hardware, software. How do they come together to make a computer a computer? So go ahead and get that certification, especially since you say you already have a background. You went to school for it and you got some type of background background working in it already go ahead and get your a plus certification and then from there get your network plus and security plus and then figure out exactly what in tech you want to do you want to go networking cybersecurity, cloud database you know whatever i really don't care whatever it is that you feel like you want to do but yes go get your a plus cert as a matter of fact for those y'all who want to get certified y'all know y'all see me dropping these things on the timeline so if y'all want to go get certified i got my a plus course running right now. I will work with you to the best of my abilities to help you pass this test, except for take the test. I'm not going to take the test for you, but you can sign up, apply. You got to apply for this 12 month program to get you right. And people are like, why is it 12 months? Because life happens. All right. There's a lot of coursework involved in this. You know, we're not just going through showing you slideshows. Yes, you're going to get them slideshows in your life, but I'm also exposing you to a lot of other stuff, mostly labs, labs, and mo labs, so that you can take all the knowledge from those wonderful slideshows I put together and actually apply it in a meaningful way so that when you go sit down and interview for a job, you can demonstrate you actually know how to do some crap. Meaning you're not just in there talking about, yes, I know what Active Directory is, but you can also be like, yeah, I've done this. I know how to set up a GPO and Active Directory. I know how to do this. I know how to do that. So that's what this course is designed to do, right? We're trying to teach you all those wonderful slideshows so you can have all that wonderful knowledge in your brain so you can go pass these doggone tests. But more importantly, we want to get you the skill set so you can actually start adding stuff to your resume saying that you know how to do things other than just pass a test. So if y'all are interested in that, y'all know what to do, man. I'm going to drop this link in the chat. Y'all go apply for the program. The only information I collect from you is your name and your email address. I'm not asking for your social security number, picture of your baby mama, none of that crap. So if you're interested in that, go apply. If we think the program is right, we'll figure out a way to work with you. You dig? So hopefully that answers your question, Mr. Dan Bernard. Go get your A plus cert. Come holler at your boy Tech G. I'll get you right out in these streets. All right. Who is this? He says, What is a good starting salary as a junior cybersecurity analyst fresh out of college in Atlanta, Georgia with Security Plus Cert? Here's what I'm gonna do for you. We're gonna go to Indeed. Indeed is your friend, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go to Indeed, right? So let's go ahead and type in cybersecurity analyst entry level let's do 50 mile radius let's just see what's in your area i don't know what type of education you let's go with this all right here we go so i put entry level cybersecurity analyst atlanta georgia 50 mile radius that's the only thing the only criteria that i put up it that i put certification do they have a certification thing where i can put on here no they don't all right anyways i put that here's what they're showing 
So you got one job saying eighty to one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. I don't know if that's realistic or not. Let me see. Let's figure out what you're gonna be doing first. Policy tuning, diagnostics, some other SI security tools, timely support for IT teams where security technologies may be a contributing factor. Review tickets, change requests for risks to identify security policies that need to be tuned. So you need to have systematic thinking. The hell does that mean? <laughs> critical thinking is that what they call critical thinking? They call it systematic thinking. Is that, is that the new word now? Excellent interpersonal skills, meaning you're not a weirdo. Can you go to work and people actually get along with you? TCP IP tools, packet captures, using a bunch of Wireshark stuff, X509, DNS, Active Directory, ad hoc, endpoint detection, application tools, Microsoft Stack. Got to have familiarity with all this crap. Zscaler, cloud infrastructure, Splunk, PowerShell, SQL. That one's saying 80 to 100,000. You got another one down here in Suwanee, wherever the hell that's at, 85 to 90,000. We got one down here for 50 in Decatur. Well, let me do a different criteria. I think we already looked at this one, right? 80 to 95,000. First, second line support, remote and off-premise, plan, design, configure, and do some other crap. Got to be familiar with LAN and WAN and Wi-Fi, experience with layer two, three technologies, project management, switching, routing, automation. That's one job. Let's see. We got another one. Security analyst. Is this the one we looked at already for a hundred for, for eighty to one hundred twenty thousand? We got one down here. I don't know what the hell this is. What is this? Twenty five dollars an hour. What what is this? All right, here we go. We got what the hell is this? I'm just quickly scanning these things, looking for stuff. I'm not gonna read what the hell HIV status. What the hell going on up in here? I just saw something that said HIV status. I'm like. What they doing up in here, man? All right. So anyways, based off of this, because all right, they're not showing any more salaries, man. So based off of you being in Atlanta, Georgia with a security plus trying to become a junior cybersecurity analyst, I'm going to assume a good starting salary for you is probably going to be around $70,000, 65, 70,000. You might be able to creep into this, to this range right here, maybe around 70,000. You know, you might, you might be uh, doing some things in Atlanta right there. So that's what we're going to assume. Remember, like I say, salaries is all dependent upon where you live. So I can't give you all the definitive answer because like I said, what applies to me down here where I live at in Florida may not be applicable to you in your area. But the one thing you can do is just go to Indeed, type in the criteria for your job in your city or whatever area that you live in and just look at a bunch of different listings and see what these companies are offering. And that'll kind of give you an idea of what to possibly expect. All right.